Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the reaction between aluminium and iodine. The first thing to do is to grind up a small amount of iodine, 0.4 grams. This is then thoroughly mixed with 0.1 grams of aluminium powder. The reaction produces hazardous fumes of iodine, so should be carried out in a fume cupboard, although there is an alternative that I'll come to later. Put your aluminium iodine mixture onto a non-flammable surface and make a small dent in the top. Now put a couple of drops of water into the dip you made in the pile. It helps if the water has a little detergent in to help it mix. Within a few seconds you can see traces of purple iodine vapour coming off. This increases. Soon you should also see some paler fumes of aluminium iodide as well before the reaction dies down. If you don't have access to a fume cupboard, you can use a large flask instead. The aluminium iodine mixture in this case is put in a bottle top and this is placed in the bottom of a large flask. A drop or two of water is added and then a bunk with a fermentation lock containing sodium thiosulfate is put in the top. This prevents the release of any iodine fumes into the room. Once again, you see the purple fumes of iodine as the reaction proceeds. A similar reaction happens with bromine. This is more vigorous as bromine is a more reactive element than iodine. Bromine is also significantly more toxic than iodine, so this demonstration must be done in a fume cupboard. A milliliter or so of liquid bromine is placed in a watch glass in the fume cupboard and a few pieces of aluminium foil are put in. After a little while, you can see some sparks appearing before the mixture flares up producing whitish fumes of aluminium bromide as well as the red-brown bromine vapour. 